Hi everyone, uh, travel addict guy here. Wow, I was tired guys after that long car trip. And when I got to the hostel, I met those cool guys and they wanted to go out that evening. And we went down to the port and wow, it was beautiful. That was last night. Look at this building here guys, wow. Some gorgeous buildings in this area. And this is supposed to be a university area. That's where my hostel is. It is called Selena. And like I said, I had booked another hostel, but because I didn't have the back cert, they would not let me stay there, guys. So no worries, they canceled it and I moved to another one. Look at that. Look at the architecture there, guys. 1895 to 1914. I don't know if that was when it was built. And look at this, you can just tell the age of these. Wow, I just love the different styles of all of them. And you can even see the tower in the distance. A little overcast today, but not too bad, guys. Just sweater weather. And there's the place right there. I just saw a man coming out with a coffee. It's called Fabrica. Or Fabrica. Coffee Roasters of Porto. Love it. I'm gonna try my first coffee in Porto. I get the mask on and I'll see you inside, guys. So I'm in this place called the Fabrica. I take a look at it. And they're using the La Marsoco. And just a big beautiful coffee shop guys and they're serving specialty coffee and there we go a nice specialty coffee and they said it was from Brazil okay you're the manager what is your name sir Claudio Claudio okay very nice could you tell me a little bit about this um, coffee shop Fabrica coffee shop starts uh, in two, 2015 okay in Lisbon we have four stores in Lisbon that one is the first one in Porto probably we have a new one soon uh, we just work with the specialty coffee, 100% wrap coffee. Nice. It's very popular, the specialty coffee. Yes, it is. And it's not because I work here, but I think our coffee shop is one of the best yeah. of in Porto. Yes. It does look very beautiful, I have yes. to say. Take a look at it. Yes. Wow, guys. And large, too. It goes all the way back there. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Claudia. So you can see, guys, this is a huge coffee shop. I'm actually going to sit over here. Kind of nice style. They've got the uh, bags, the coffee bags. They've turned them into the seats. And I like this area back here, guys. So well lit up. Take a look at this. You even got a little sink here. This is where they roast the coffee. Look at this. Right here, you've got the coffee roaster right there. So you know they're roasting it in-house. We've got a Mona Lisa. <laughs> I don't think it's the real one. And look at this. A place for people to work. So nice guys, look at this. And even out back, you can actually enjoy the coffee outside. Well, I did not see that. Wow, and the garden here. Actually, I might want to do this, guys. Look at this, You can even, there's even a garden. This is so nice. And you're next to this building here. Wow, what a great place for a coffee shop, guys. I'm blown away by this. So, good start to the afternoon. I had some coffee. Got a late start today, guys. And gonna head down to the city maybe some more of those buildings guys look at this one it is all green look at the face of that one green like jade I love the color on that building wow wow Porto guys is really nice really really nice finally I'm here in Portugal guys I'm so happy I've been wanting to be in Portugal I've been wanting to come here and now I'm here and there's nothing like that fulfilling your dreams well i don't know which way is the best way down to the port seems to go down here let's go this way so that was some kind of tour bus i can tell you one thing about porto guys at the river you are way down the elevation is low and you have to go up and i'm actually up right now what does it say? Barcelona. Is that the name of the place? Barcelona? No, it's called Ceuta, it looks like. Anyway, something Barcelona there. Here is the place. Ceuta. Cafe Ceuta, it looks like. Wow. It's actually part of Spain. Maybe they are Spanish people. It says something about Barcelona there. And some writing there. I don't understand the Portuguese writing. I didn't understand that. But one good thing about Portugal is almost everyone speaks English here, or a lot of people do anyway. So very easy to get around. Some nice artwork there. Now that is artwork there. 
Very nice. That looks like it was definitely a commission. There's definitely a cafe culture here. Look at this building here. Oh my gosh, guys, such a treat. The age of these buildings is... Wow, they are at least like 100 years old. Seems like all these buildings. And we've got a restaurant here. Some people there in the restaurant enjoying themselves. And some more of these very cool buildings here. Take a look. And some more places to eat too. And I remember that Eduardo told me to try this dish. Hopefully I could find that and try it out. I guess it is a specialty of Porto. I wanted to mention the price in that coffee shop. It wasn't that cheap, guys. It was three euros for the uh, latte. And they actually charged me a tag, so it was 3.30, which that is unusual. In Spain, they don't do that. It's always added in. And the banana bread was 3.50, but you did get a good piece of banana bread. In Spain, it would have been much smaller. So it was all together, it was 6.80 for that, for the coffee and the banana bread. But it was the same price I paid in Salamanca too. But everyone is saying how much cheaper Porto is and of course some areas it might be but that was some very good specialty coffee too wow look at the architecture you can just tell the age of these buildings so we've got a large building there it looks like a palace wow look at that and we're on one of these main streets here so I don't think we're too far from the port now. Gonna go down that way. And we've got one of those red phone booths, guys. Look at this. What should we call? We've got actually a phone booth here, guys. Oh, and there's actually ringing. Let me call it. Beep, 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 beep. Hello, Catman, how you doing? All right, yes, I'm in Porto. Ah, you're in Cordoba. Okay, very cool, my friend. We'll see you later. Okay, he says to say booyah. Okay, guys, booyah. There it is. Talk to the cat man, guys. It's great how you can do that now. The phones, they connect up to everywhere. Just like that, the cat man on the other line. Look at that, look at those buildings there. And very interesting to listen to the Portuguese language, wow. A new challenge to try to learn that or try to understand anyway. Let's take a look and admire these buildings here. Look at that. Look at the architecture there. Wow, so a big plaza there. It looks like they are redoing the whole thing. That must be, that'll be a wonderful when it's done. Look at that, guys. Look at that tower there with the clock on it. So obviously you have to maintain those buildings and that's what they're doing there now. Oh, wow, look at that building there. The face of that. We got a cross now, it's on the green. Let's look at it from here, guys. Oh my, look at that. Look at the beautiful face on that. And we've got a tour group here. Very interesting. Wow. So we've got some nice sun here. So this is Ponte de Do Infante. So I believe it is a bridge because in Spanish it would be Puente. So it should be the bridge there. Oh, that might be the famous bridge actually. It's over there. The bridge, the yeah. bridge is over there. Okay, thank you. You go in this way. Uh -huh. You see the uh, the uh, the final the signal. Uh -huh. One minute you see the bridge don't wish. If okay. the right is the, the cathedral. Okay, thank you. You're from uh, Porto? Yes, I'm from the Porto. Okay, and what, what is your name, sir? Uh, John. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm okay. Kerry from yes. United States. Yes, yes. All right, thank you. Bye. Appreciate that, my friend. Wow. So, people are very friendly here, guys. This man just came up and talked to me and told me where the bridge was. He heard me speaking about it. 
So that was very kind of him. So maybe we should do that. Should we go up there to that interesting bridge? I was trying to get to the port. It seems I'm in a different area. Well, it could be a blessing. Look at this, very touristic area here. Here is the metro. So that is good. We have a metro also. So you can get around the city quite easily. And wow, also an elevator going down. That's nice. We have tourist uh, center here. So obviously a big tourist part of town. We seem to be going down here. Maybe we are going toward the port. That is the bridge. Maybe we should go up to the bridge first, guys. Let's do that and then I'll come back down. Why not? And I love this view here. And you can see that building in the background with that beautiful blue and white. It almost looks like porcelain on the outside. And it just makes the building look, just stand out, it just pops, the color. Let's put it that way. And look at this tree, wow. I'm just blown away by these buildings. Here's the same guy crossing there. Same guy we talked to. Oh, and there he is, looks like the bridge over there. I can see something from here. Well, I wouldn't normally suggest that you pay for these uh, tour buses. But if you're an older person, or you can't walk that well, this is hard work going up and down here in Porto. I mean, I was winded myself yesterday. And I do a lot of walking. So you have to be in good shape to walk around here. Or you can take one of these buses. I see why they're so popular. So this is the Se Catedral de Porto. So the Se Cathedral. Just SE with the accent mark, but very old, extremely old cathedral here. Wow, look at the age! Unbelievable. Here's a actually a mark, it says okay, so this is 1868 to 1968. So not as old as I thought. Well, wow, you can definitely see the age on it it's starting to change color there. Let's we'll use copper on there or some other metals that would tarnish. The cathedral. And I believe you can go inside for a price. I just did the menu. And we're getting some views of the city. Wow, look at that building there. Another one with that blue and white facing. And there's a woman drying the, the clothes, the daily clothes. You still have to do that, guys. People still living here. Must be amazing to live there, actually. This cathedral, and they're actually working on it. You can see that. And this it definitely has some age on it. I hope there will be a sign that we can see when this was built. Wow. And they seem to like that blue color there. Look at that blue color on this one too. Unbelievable guys, look at this. Like stepping back into history here. Definitely. And someone said that, it like, feels like you're stepping back into time when you come to Porto. And around the front, Ah, there's just so much to see here. I was not expecting this. There was so much to see in Porto. I think I'm gonna be here a while, guys. I think I'm gonna stay in Portugal for a while. And it's been so long waiting till I could get here because they had the borders closed for so long. Like I said, I've been wanting to come here for so long, but the borders had been closed between Spain and Portugal. In my opinion, it was overdone, but that was the case. And now we are reopened. Look at this monument here. Have to find out some more about the age of this church here. Okay, so I have some information now about the church. It says the Porto Cathedral, Se do Porto is a Roman Catholic church located in the historical center of the city of Porto, Portugal. It is one of the city's oldest monuments, we can tell by looking at it, and one of the most important local Romanesque monuments. It is a Romanesque, Gothic, and Baroque style. 
and it started they started it in 11 10 so 1110 and it was completed in 1737 so a lot of time went into that so wow it says the cathedral is flanked by two square towers each supported with two buttresses and crowned with a cupola the facade looks lacks decoration and is rather architecturally heterogeneous so it's basically similar it shows a baroque porch and beautiful romanesque rose window under a crenellated arch giving the impression of a fortified church yes so very nice there guys very interesting wow so much history in portugal wow started in 11 11 so it took 600 years to complete it wow i guess they didn't have the equipment back then that we have nowadays but uh, nevertheless they got it done so we get some more views of the city from here look at that and there's some little house next door it looks like it is a museum but there look at that another nice building so it's a stained glass museum they wanted eight euros guys it's me a little pricey i've seen a lot of stained glass in the cathedrals look at this old fountain and that scene there depicting looks like an angel or a warrior stomping on someone definitely old there goes along with the church 